How you doing today? Welcome to Life with Belsif. I'm your host, Belsif. Today on the Belsif Show, we're going to start our project on making a stand-up scooter out of pocket rockets. Three little bikes here, and we're going to see if we can't make ourselves a stand-up scooter with it. Hopefully, we don't kill ourselves. But remember, I'm doing this with no plans. I'm just going with the flow, I am. So however it comes out, it comes out. And I can always tweak it later. But don't forget to subscribe, like, hit the notification bell bar button. If you like projects like this, I got all my safety gear on. I got on my safety boots, as you can see, with my anti-flammable socks. I've got on my skin protection. And I've got on my uh, prescription safety glasses. I think we're just about ready to rock and roll here. So what I'm gonna start to do first is we gotta cut up some of these. I'm gonna use this rear end because I like the way it's designed. So this part here, I'm gonna cut here. I'm gonna cut here for now because the motor's gonna mount up here and the chain's gonna go down this way. I hope. Like it might hit this, but we'll have to fabricate that later. But let's get started here. We'll just cut this off for now. This, this, and this, and then we gotta kinda go from there. So I'll get out my trusty uh, grinder and we'll get a grind if we will. See if I can't wreck something. See if we can't wreck something, Jim. Why wouldn't I? But I'm gonna move you back and zoom in. That way I don't talk over my can with sparks. And I'll zoom in over here. There we go. Decent. Ooh, that's a nice breeze tonight, Jim. We'll get out the old trusty old friggin' grand rooster here. First thing we're gonna need to do is, actually we should trim off down there. Let's trim off this way first. There we go. Oh, hold on, I forgot one, Jim. There's our rear end. Better get this thing out of the way, what do you think? I think yes. So we'll pull off this brake. Not with that one, we won't. There we go. Yank the old screws out of her. Easy. Holy. Put a few lock washers in there we did. Somebody's cobbled that together. Okay, so now we'll move this out of the way. All right, so now that we've done that, we've got to check to see how off whack that is. And holy crap, is that ever off whack. So obviously that was bent, which is all right. We'll figure it out. Oh, we should get that chain out of the way. It goes through the frame. Let's get this chain off, boys. Holy cow, does that thing ever look crooked? I might have picked a bent rear end, Jim. Friggin' right, I might have. We better measure that. I have to use one of the other ones. So what we got is, she's right on the money. So we are gonna use this one. So before I do anything else, before we do any more cutting, we wanna leave this here, and we're gonna come off of that onto her straight tube, which will be this one. So it's gonna be end up like that, and that will be the scooter part. But in order to do that, we gotta weld this on here and then reinforce it because I don't wanna lose all this structure, if you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be really hard to make this thing straight, you know that, right? All depends how high you wanna be off the ground, too. We should measure that also. So if we got center of the rim is about six inches, whew, that's gonna be pretty high off the ground. So actually, what we gotta do is go under this plate. The first thing we're gonna do is get this all straightened up and Bob's your uncle. So put a C-clamp on this to hold her. Being a douchebag. So there we go. So now we gotta take a straight edge, make sure we're kind of somewhat straight. I think we got it right there, Captain. So we'll weld that up real quick. And you're not even on the fing thing. You don't have a woman. No. Alright, so we got that mounted and true and lined up with that. So what we gotta do is weld that into place and then we can start reinforcing it. And that's how we roll, Captain. Man, you can't get any better than that. So we'll get the welder out and zip zappity zappity zip that. So we'll run a couple feet down here. There we go. So now that, that can come off and we got this kind of a freaking idea on where it's gonna be. So now we'll work on the front piece, but we gotta figure out how long we want this. Can I think right about there? So now what we gotta do is get out our trusty square, wherever the hell it went, here it is. And we gotta square it up, we do. There you go. <laughs> So now we gotta find out how high the front's gonna be, which is right here, which we're gonna have to cut off to figure out. So we'll cut this off and then go from there, because we need a front end. So this is the front end we're using, so we're gonna cut this off just rough and cut the other side off rough, and then we can kind of get her figured out that way. There we go. I'm glad I didn't use that frame. Look at the crack on her. We need to figure out the height. So we'll put the forks on. 
So we'll take this like this. We'll slide this on here like this. I'll break it down as low as we can. We might have to remove a fender because I want to lower that. So let's get this fender out of the way. There we go, fender out of the way. So now we can break it down further. I'm thinking there. There's no shocks, so we don't have to worry about bouncing. But now that will give us a height ride. So we want about that angle of an angle. This is all going to be guessing game for frig's sakes. I almost have to take that thing off and clean her up. We'll grind that up in a minute, but I just want to get the angle of the dangles. You almost need to know a ride height. You need to get this up six inches, Jim. Here, let's see what this does. Hey, look at that, six inches right on the money. So that's how high it's going to be off the ground. So now that will give me my six inch ride height here. So now we need to come up from the six inch ride height. So let's see how far up. So from the six inch ride height, we got to come up nine inches for the center. Four inches there, we need to come up five inches. Right? Sounds good. We'll notch that out and we'll bring her up and see if we can't get a five inch raise on her. It's just cut halfway through her, Captain. Just like that. Now what we want to do is notch it. You go this way. There we go. And now we're going to go the other way. Might need just a little bit more. And now we'll bend that up. There you go. We gotta come up some more yet. Give her another notch. Job. There it is right there. Pull that up and tack her up. Let's get her friggin' done, son. Oh, we lost ground, boys. All right, so now that's tacked, we'll give her a good weld across there. That's a hot weld right there, too hot. This is crucial. All right, I had to throw the back wheel on it to uh, get it up to six inches. And as you can see, my six inch spacer is perfect. So this will tell me exactly how high I need to be, which is, frig, right about here. Jim, like I said, I want a little bit of a lean. So I'm gonna say right here, right about there we're gonna cut. And on that angle too. So we'll get a square and we'll square that up and then we'll chop her off. So right about there. There we go, let's try it. Six inch spacer, and there you go. Friggin' right there you go. Oh yeah, we did. You know what, I might notch that a little bit. Make that a little round there and we'll clean that up. It will notch it right in because that's almost the same width. I'm not gonna cut all that off. Holy shit, that will like be noise. So let's get the grinder out and we'll uh, try to grind that off. I should probably take this off and that way I can grind it out better. All right, there we go. So now that that's off, we'll uh, grind all that flat. We'll do a little bit of a groove here and then we can get her on. And we'll water like that, then we'll put a little brace across here too. This thing's gonna be soft, hot, all it. So I'll unplug the grinder and change the disc to a grinding disc so we don't kill ourselves. My vice wasn't on a wood table, I'd use a goddamn vice. Frig. Don't ask me why I put a vice on a friggin' table. Get there slowly. Thinking of putting in that vice and doing it off quickly. What an idiot. Ow, 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 ow. Making this look like I'm an idiot for f seats. All you gotta do is take it out. Alright, there we go. You just need to tack that onto there. Bop. Well, I've been sitting back trying to think where to mount the motor on this thing. I ran out of friggin' welding wire, so we're gonna have to wait and get some more of that tomorrow. But. I'm thinking about mounting the motor. The motor's originally here, right? But I'm thinking about mounting it here. If I come up like this with a chain, it will work. So I'll cut that off, lower it, put the motor back here. That way I can run the pipe off the side. And that way I can bring this bracket down here and straighten this all up. But let me know in the comments below if you think this is too long and here comes the train. So why wouldn't it? But anyways, like I said, leave a comment down below if you think it's too long. It is pretty long. I might shorten it up to about here. But I want to put a seat on it too, right? And then some baggage areas for the cameras and stuff like this. I'm going to put a little wedge down in here. So don't worry, this thing is far from done. Wedge down here, then we're going to lengthen these. I might put another neck up here and mount it. I don't know, depends how much weight I want to hold. I kind of want it stretch. It's kind of cool, but it, it's not going to turn worth a dick. Like it's going to take, Christ, look at all the freaking room it's going to take to turn it. So I might have to shorten it up to about here. Leave a comment down below and let me know what you would do. Or if you like the stretch look. We've got a little bit of chore over here, line up the engine and stuff like that to whereabouts it wants to be. Got to mount the gas tank, which has got to be above the engine again. So we're still going to have to have some kind of bracketry up here for the engine. So yeah, I got uh, some hurdles to overcome here, but I'll overcome them. 
and I'll f squirt all over it and have her done, Jim. We'll get her done. But don't forget to leave your comments down below. Let me know what you would do differently. Let me know if you think I should, like I said, shorten her up. But hopefully you enjoyed part one of building the stand-up scooter out of some pocket plates. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe, like, hit the notification bell bar button. Love you all. And until next time. You know what to do for now.